Greetings, welcome to Update Kiwi Fruit. It is time to enjoy a fresh new batch of vehicles, a beautiful crafting event which you can partake in and win some prizes, and a new game mode which you can play this one of a kind vehicle. That's right, introducing the Bob Sample. You know, it's about time that this bloody thing gets added to War Thunder. Hello, and welcome yourselves to the Bob Sample. It's finally in War Thunder. It's been my everlasting dream to have this thing in game. This gives me great pride because this thing should have been added long, long time ago. I can't help but just sort of laugh at this machine. Holy hell. There is a 37 in the turret at the top, as well as a whole host of other things. Crew of six, a mass weight of 25.4 tons, and it has eight millimeters of armor all round on all sides. And it even has a complimentary six machine guns to go with that, although this thing is rather rowdy and should be pretty interesting. But I'm glad it's finally here. It's finally in War Thunder. And you need to go to the events tab and actually go and play it. There is a defending New Zealand shores which exactly what we're going to go do right now. All right, let's jump into it. I'd like to see a tally in the comments. Who would like to see me narrate a War Thunder uh, Thunder Show video or something like that? I've got the voice for it. I don't necessarily have the reading skills, the pronunciation to do it, but I think it'd be fun. Anyway, right, so the defense of Japan. Quite interesting stuff, this. Now, oh my God, this thing looks so funky. Oh my goodness me, I love this thing. All right, uh, I have no idea what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to shoot things. Okay, let's see, the right machine gun. Give him a bit old rat a tat 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 Unfortunately, all the other explosions are overpowering the machine gun sounds. Very, very strange here. Anyway, let's go and kill these tanks, I suppose. There's one down. God, this thing feels like a tractor already. Slow turret, turn rate, blind spots with the guns. Having to change gears in order to slow down and to move. I mean, this thing moving is just fucking funny. You know, they built three of these vehicles, right, without the 37 on the top. I mean, still, to <laughs> see it in War Thunder and to play it is a one thing altogether. Can we get a shot on that guy? Come on. We've got a hit on that little Hargo thing. There's a bunch of infantry soldiers running around as well. Okay, there's one tank down. And with the real threat of Japan invading New Zealand, particularly uh, around the time where, you know, Japan was invading absolutely everybody in the early 40s, there we go, got a hit on that particular vehicle. What I am concerned about, though, is the depression on the gun. It's not exactly the greatest thing out there. And this is quite a short mission, so hopefully it'll end soon. All right, gotcha, you little bastard. It's got a battle rating of 1.0, by the way. This thing doesn't even belong in 1.0 battles, let alone, you know, regular gameplay, even in, in, even in the event. All right, there we go. Finally got that vehicle. And it reminds me of just the times where we would just be screaming for this thing to be added in the game. And here it is, finally, I can drive it. I'm trying to get a shot on that, uh, <laughs> that assault gun there. On Earth, just give him a bit of rat attack on the side there. I, I, I generally just, I mean, this thing's out of bus. All right, let's see, didn't get a hit on that one. So the gun depression is a bit, you know, a bit weird. And, and the, the, the main gun itself is a bit bouncy. All right, come on, at least get a kill on this guy. The gun sight is completely and utterly uh, broken, by the way, or else I'd be using it. It doesn't actually display the proper gun sight in the uh, the, the turret there. Um, and there's a few more vehicles. All right, let's see if we can move down and actually get some stuff done. It's quite remarkable that this vehicle even exists. Now, on a hill like that, I think that thing would have absolutely flipped over. Ooh, big hit. What on earth did I take the hit from? from? Did I get shot by a ship or was it an anti-tank rifle? I can't fire my machine guns now. My front machine gunner is down. So we're just gonna have to try and hit this Chiha. Oh, not this Chiha, the, uh, the, the, the long gun or the short gun. I don't know, Japanese tanks, they're all the same. Relatively small, s some navally. Okay, yeah, a bunch of infantry running around now. As you can see by the gun sight, it is a bit glitched at the moment. Apparently there is a fix inbound soon, but so far I'm enjoying this. All right. Okay, let's take it head on. Right, okay. Apply to forehead, as they would say. I... Oh, God, this thing is slow. Um... All right, well, we're just going to stop. 
keep moving a bit we'll kill off a few more things and hopefully that'll be about it let's see got everything we've got most of everything on that right hand shore here and we just got to kill everything towards our front and then we should be okay give them a good old dacker there goes the at crew right okay now we can move on do you remember the outrage that was caused like a couple of years ago when this thing was first added everyone was like add the bob sample Garson, bob sample win please give bob sample that's what i made my first video hang on there's an infantry soldier come on kill him all right he's down the one behind me is gonna have to stay alive for a little bit longer that's okay We've got these couple of tanks left soon we'll kill them all and apparently my great great grandmother uh had a newspaper clipping on my new zealand side of the family of the the tank rolling around in the local like press as, as it appeared in the in the cartoon on 21st of october 1941 you know for, 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 for better or worse this vehicle was the laughing stock of of new zealand but you didn't see anyone else you know making a vehicle to try and help defend the country in the, in, in the nation's needs so you know it is what it is okay we're just gonna basically try and repair the vehicle i'm critically damaged from whatever just hit me i don't have any of the machine gunners in the rear I've just got the gun and the left mach hull machine gunner that's it the driver is still good he's a bit wounded though everyone else currently in the vehicle is dead <laughs> and is you know it's not very much armor on top of a chassis that was you know made specifically for the d9 tractor and at some point these tanks were actually sort of officially handed over to the army apparently having their turrets removed the suitable cannons had still not been obtained that being the 37. one of the general's final recommendations was that no more of this vehicle type be made and that the three existing vehicles were deemed suitable for beach defense instead so this is exactly what Gaussian have done we've got this mission here and we have to sort of clear off the beach and its entirety we're going to skip forward just a little bit here as this is sort of the boring but we have to move to a next objective nothing really happens here and this thing is slow as balls but there is a bunch of ai aircraft that fly overhead and i thought it was pretty interesting just to uh observe ah uh, yes <laughs> the d9 tractor rolling around unstably as it possibly can you know this tank was not a stroke of genius on the part of the minister of railways but an honest effort on the part of the military and the public's work department yeah to create something out of the the materials we had and it was made by the the will and consent of the military i have to, have to destroy some uh, heavy tanks here it appears what are these hargos rogos i believe they are all right these things are impervious to kill as you can see the gun sight is a bit annoying all right this guy there's still one more come on can we kill him at least the reloads fairly quick at a standstill at least this gun works i can't imagine what this tank would be like when it's moving and firing at the same time there's just you know, no possible way that that probably be even feasible in the end we all know that this is an utter meme tank and the creator bob sample even said that well we quietly slipped machines to fiji and tonga we built aerodromes there secretly it was plain as day that the japanese would strike through the back door to singapore island hopping to new zealand what stopped them this way a, a, a retort from the floor mock sample saying probably your tanks bob which he responded if that's a cheap sneer you keep it i had the vision to try and create something while a lot of others were just sniveling laughter and applause to this response is recorded this is not the response of a man in any way ashamed or embarrassed rather proud in what he created with the public's work department anyway we made mincemeat of that particular vehicle now it's on to a hang on those other bob's apples there are other bob's apples <gasps> my goodness me go away big yellow thing look at them look at them go there's three of us oh wow look look at that majestic beasts as they transcend the plane of existence can you imagine just 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 <laughs> the japanese coming to face this yeah that'll be a bloody laugh and a half interestingly in the other notes on the tank encyclopedia it says could crush saplings up to six inch diameter fitted with a drawbar for towing light field guns or an armored trailer so maybe this thing would see service hauling anti-tank guns or doing some other sort of military escort work 
Yeah, I don't know about that one. The last military official to really speak of the Bob Sample was actually Major General Robert Young, and he was the Dominion commander of the Home Guard who was touring with Bob Sample in November 1940, promoting home defence. General Young summed up the character of the man in saying, I am proud to be associated with him, for he has what I wish everyone had, a will to win the war. For when a man has got a will to win, nothing can stop him. What a quirky machine, I absolutely adore this, and Gaussian has done well by implementing this particular machine. And that basically wraps up our journey with the Bob Sample. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Happy April Fools. My name is Ash, and I'll see you in a video for War Thunder's actual April Fools. Bob Sample.